So I was looking at AliExpress late one night and I stumbled upon this camera, a $15 toy twin lens reflex camera or TLR for short. But is it any good? On first inspection, it seems to do the part. It looks and feels like an okay-ish TLR, although on the cheap side. Now the back side, that's another story. Uh, this is mostly my own fault. However, I will note the viewfinder lid became unhinged and when trying to reattach it, the plastic hinge snapped off. In a futile endeavor, I attempted to reattach it with super glue, but I just made things worse. But this should not have an impact on the function of the camera. Looking in the back, we can see the film compartment and the inner workings of the camera. Film can then be loaded like this. This camera does not have a frame counter. Instead, you turn these knobs and look at the middle dial to see if you advanced a frame. Half a turn is one frame. You can focus your image by turning the lenses. You can take a shot simply by flicking the shutter. You can also hold it open for longer exposures. Be careful though. If you forget to advance your film, you'll have a double exposure. So without further ado, let's take this camera out for a test run. The focusing screen does a good job at letting us preview and frame our shot. Hmm, some light leaks, but otherwise, okay. Let's take a few more shots. This one is gonna be a double exposure. Ugh, the light leaks totally ruined this shot. This shot also suffered it, but not as much. Looking at the negatives, we can see the real damage caused by the light leak. To try and find the source of the leak, I have this small LED that I'll put inside the camera. When we turn off the lights, we can see light coming from under the back hinges. Even if the one hinge did not crack and it was properly assembled, light could still easily leak in. Another leak appears to be on the frame advanced knob, but only if it gets pulled out a bit. Should you pick this camera up, uh, maybe now you know what you're getting into. The light leaks can probably be easily sealed. If fully working, this could be a real fun toy camera to add to your collection. But maybe don't use expensive film or use it for anything important. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you know the drill. And be sure to check out some of my other videos. I'm a new channel and can use all the help I can get. See you next time.